Hey, it's Sabrina with Wildlife X Team, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about fire ants. The term fire ant doesn't actually represent a single ant or single species of ants. The term is actually used to refer to at least 280 different species. Fire ants live in large colonies of up to 250,000 worker ants. Fire ants are called fire ants because of two reasons, because of their reddish skin, and they also have a very painful sting. And I'm sure many of you have actually gone through it, but I have actually been stung by a fire ant and it is so uncomfortable and it stings really bad. They are um, extremely aggressive and anything that intrudes to their colonies are met with things repeatedly. As far as their nesting habit is concerned, these ants usually build their nests in ground. Many of these nests have been visible uh, mounds above ground with a diameter of around 61 centimeters. These mounds may raise up to 18 centimeters above ground. Interestingly, they are not invasive by nature. However, there is a particular species that is invasive and they are known um, by RIFA or red imported fire ants. Though fi fire ants primarily feed on seeds and young plants, they are actually omnivores. They also feed on small animals and small birds. While we're talking about their feeding habit, it is important to say that these ants are extremely aggressive and can collectively kill small animals. Fire ants also have a unique feature. The first time they bite, not for spraying acid as other ants do. In fact, they bite to get a good grip on the skin and then they pull out a chemical from their stomach and inject it into their victim. This compound is actually a type of venom that they have.